So if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I took my RTR Spec 5 10th anniversary out to Coda Circuit of the Americas. I did see a lot of heat soak that day out of the vehicle to where it was really killing power. And by the end, I was only able to get up to like 50, 55 miles an hour on the front straight. And I've tried doing everything I can. I've added oil coolers. I've upgraded my radiator thanks to Mishimoto. And I can't get the temperatures down. Well, one of our friends of RTR, Adam Brown at Revolution Automotive, had started to see the same thing on vehicles that he had built. And they think they may have found a solution to it. You can see a little bit of the heat radiating off of this thing right now. We grabbed that thing and it dang near burned our hand off. The Rock knows exactly who you are. Well, one of the problems that Adam said he noticed comes from that right there. That is a 40 amp relay, which I have a replacement right here. I got this from Summit Racing up in Dallas. You can order these online. This isn't the exact brand that Adam said to get, but this is a good replacement because at the time Summit didn't have the one that I wanted available. He says that if you replace this relay that you should see a decrease in temperatures because what has been happening is sometimes this thing has been failing. So we're gonna go ahead and swap this out real quick and uh, hope this does the trick. Look in there also, filter's a little dirty, so we're gonna change that out at the same time. There's the relay. We're gonna go ahead and swap this out for the one that we picked up real quick. Just disc. It's kind of hard to do this stuff with one hand though. All right, chin. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Looking at these two, this is old one. This is new one. A little bit of a difference in how they seal that up. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but huh, we'll find out. All right, she's in place there, all bolted back up. We're gonna hang on to this one just in case there's any type of issues. Now we just need to get the filter back in there. So we're cruising in the car right now. This is day number two of driving around since we did what Adam said would be the fix for overheating issues under regular driving conditions. Uh, we've given it the juice a few times and it is staying right around this 200 mark. I think the highest I've seen it since we've been out cruising is maybe 203 right there. It hopped up to 201, but it's been staying in this range. So uh, it may be working. We'll have to get it to the track and really find out though. Uh, it looks like the relay replacement has worked. We've done three runs now out there and we're sitting at 201. Before this would have been up around 230, 240 and we would have been losing power. So we do have plenty of power right now. So that was fantastic. The fix has worked. I've been cruising around now for two, three weeks and have not had a problem with overheating. Of course, you are gonna get a little bit of power loss here and there on these superchargers over prolonged use throughout the day, but nothing like I had seen before. So uh, big props to Revolution Automotive for finding this out. Thank you, Adam, we really appreciate it. I wanna get it back out to Coda to find out for sure because temps outside weren't bad. But I mean, considering what we had been dealing with, this is freaking awesome. So. It may have been a combination of the relay, the oil cooler, and the radiator. It may be all three, it may be one or the other, I don't really know, but for me, upgraded radiator, upgraded oil cooler, and the big, big game changer here was swapping out that relay. So if you guys are experiencing the problem, go ahead and give that a try and see if that works for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it at all or found it at all interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up even if you didn't find it interesting because I got you to make it to this point. Also, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything else that's coming up from me here in the future. And if you want to see more of what happened on the autocross day, go ahead and subscribe to J-Dub Racing as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace.